Yes, finally, finally, finally! So of course we're back with another pretty quick Dicker Map video. So yeah, we got Ella Bronson, of course, info, easy details, all on the, all live in the game. My lord, I cannot speak right now. I can't speak! A little bit sleepy, a little bit tired. Um, I did actually get some good sleep last night, though. I did stay up just to do the um, info for the 350 million downloads. Part 3, though, of course. I did do a full info video and everything, of course, for that. Um, but though, um, I didn't, I, I went to sleep for like, what, 6 a.m.? No, what, 6 19, 6 20 um, a.m.? But I did get some pretty good sleep, though. I still got some good sleep. After this, though, I did the next couple videos. I will probably take a break from recording. Because that is, I really don't need to do anything else that much, though. I really need to do that. I need some sleep. I'm gonna do this, then I'm gonna probably do the EZ info, EZ area info for both the new units, of course, that came out with the um, Studio for the downloads. The new, the new ones like the Frieza, uh, no, Dorbondadoria. Vegeta, I'm gonna do easy easy area video for them. Um, and I'm gonna do one for the Game Force just to kind of review and go over them because I want I wanted to make a full dedicated video just for them though because I've not done that at all and I really do want to make one though. So yeah, I'll probably record those two and knock those out probably today. Or I might just honestly record all of them though because it won't take me that long to go through all of them. The Game Force a little bit though because I want that like, to kind of go over them because I feel like I haven't like really. I feel like they really read the units. I didn't read the Goku, Frieza, Piccolo, and the new story from Frieza. I didn't read them at all until like yesterday at the time of spring for me. I didn't read them at all when I finally got some time to. Goku's insane. Freeze is just as good as Goku though. He does a lot a little, I feel like he does a little bit more than Goku. But I feel like Goku's gonna out damage like Goku's gonna easily just out damage Freeza. That's pretty much how can I something up. And again, I'm gonna make a whole of uh, some up video on the 350 million download celebration in a nutshell. I did I did one last year, but I didn't fortunately did not get that out in time. I did it for the um two drift I think was it go on and sell 300 million downloads. I did it for I knew it for the um Drift from Goku or Frieza. I did again, I did one last year, but I didn't really get it out in time. I had a couple, I think, as well. I, again, I had like a lot. Um, of those I did it for the sixth year anniversary. Did it started doing around the five year, actually around four years. Now a lot of people watch that video. I was like, okay, I do it for the Dallas celebration for going on sale. A lot of people didn't really watch that though, but a lot of people did watch the sixth year one. I was like, okay, that's I'm pretty good though, of course. And of course, I'm gonna do one for the seven year. I'm not gonna do it for Gold though specifically because it's pretty much all the same thing. I'm gonna do it for Jamie when it first comes out to get my full thoughts and opinions, of course, around the um, everything, of course, around the situation, how I feel about it, and stuff like that, of course. I know a lot of people said the Game Force didn't get easy A though, but it did happen and stuff like that, of course. Though. So I'm free to play uh, physical or even tech game, of course. Tech one could have been easy, but I feel like I said for probably like a celebration, probably. But they just want me to look at you. It's, it's easy right there on the bars. Because these guys just got easy A's. I hope you can probably see that. Maybe for, um, because usually at the down celebration, they kind of keep the trend a little bit going with like another unit. Maybe that's, like after Boost Saga last year, we got a little bit more Boost Saga stuff, but we also got a couple more. We got a lot of stuff to help with the Boost Saga, like LR, Bobbity, and Boo. They some of that last year, or, like after the down celebration, you know, we got a good leader. We got a couple of things after that. So if I could see that again this year, if the trend keeps going, they kind of can, they kind of tend to do that. No, because I know that um, on Halloween they're gonna do like a golden, like you know, a Frieza unit like they did like last year with physical golden Frieza, transforming one for the Terminator Power. Here before that was um I think AGO Medicaler. No, year before that was, I think was SR Cooler. Year before that was AGO Medicaler. They all kind of blending though. It might be like another cool uh, chill. They go chill. King Cole. I don't know if it's King Cole. Is there something for that? I don't even know. So yeah, of course we got full box, easy AD details, and stuff like that, of course, for JP. And Global, it gives for both Global and JP, you don't need to worry about it, stress out, whatever. It gives on both versions, don't need to stress out, don't need to, you know, worry about doing it day one, which everybody does anyway, regardless, though. Because the third free stone's right there, so I recommend doing that. Yeah, doing, just doing all the easy A's to celebration, you got, you should have at least around like 90 stones doing all this stuff, though. Because on um, both, we go Tristan and Goku, every time, of course, Bardock. It was dang, like, it was dang right on the nose who was going to get an easy A. It was like right on the nose, I feel like it was going to get an easy A. I didn't work in like, this at the free play tech game you both though. But yeah, again, this is easy. It's pretty simple. Again, it's all of one through three and one through ten. Um, pretty simple. Again, you get all the stones. Like, you get 30 stones. Just you get three every stage. Of course, the last one gives you, again, the 30 stones and stuff like that. But after that, it'll be like, um, um, basically, until 999, you get like the Hercule Statues, which actually is really good nowadays. Which did a whole bunch of videos before the Dallas celebration started and went over all that. Of course, you get 40 rainbow, 45 rainbow medals. Of course, that's it. That'll be easy at the end three times. Pretty easy, simple and easy over there. Um, five physical grand cards, of course, you typing or typing whatever for this. Um, 30 stones again. You get 4,300 um, small orbs, 2,400 um, 2,400 um, medium, of course, 200 um, large. Of course, that was a thousand something something. What's it? Four, five, six. It's probably like 6,000 something, something, something. So, yeah. Um, 6,000, probably what, four, five, six, seven. 6,000 of what, like, 
700. Like, I don't even know. So yeah. Uh, of course, like I said, easy. I mean, like these, 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 like these are all like pretty easy to go through and stuff like that. Of course, though. So you don't really need to stress yourself out about it and stuff like that. Of course. Uh, of course, we got Brothers Easy A summons right here. Again, don't need to summon on it. Please don't summon on it. It's really bad. Besides, like these, probably three. Because I didn't really see no one use the Bardock anymore. Um, again, Bardock, he might, he's good, but I think, I don't know, I heard he's actually a really good beast. He might be, I don't know if he's better than the Transforming one. I gotta just compare notes, because I love the Transforming Bardock. Um, I love he's starting to age a little bit. Kind of, yeah, because he, he doesn't tank as he used to when he first came out. He'll do a lot of damage, like creating additional attacks, dodging, really good stuff. But overall, though, like that, he is just basically, yeah, just that basically, though. You guys just gotta be, take my word for it. I kind of agree, because I did do the, um, a battlefield and product didn't really tank that much. The ATL one, transforming one that we got from Zay Day a couple years ago now at this point. Um, yeah, 2020. Um, basically, yeah, he um didn't take that well, boys. He didn't take that well, of course. But yeah, Terrifying Conquerors is what he's weak to. Pretty easy category again. You got cooler, you got turtles, you got just other um units and stuff like that. Just for damaging, if you don't want to take as much damage, but if you want to go pure attack, just uh, the most unit LR is of course have legendary power. A LR has legendary power, or every LR basically in the game right now has legendary power. Basically, you can go ahead and do it there. Um, I think a tape on Nudge could be good though, but probably not. Again, turtles is gonna be disgusting here. Um, probably I'd say you know, Frizzes is gonna be really good here. The Frizzes is probably gonna be really good here. Um, Bro is gonna be really good again. He got ZZA, he's one of the best. ZZA is probably in the game right now so far. Again, I've not seen Bardock's details at all yet at all. Though, but yeah, again, this, these teams are both disgusting though. Again, I mean, besides the nerd power, that's something else completely different though, of course. Though, but, yeah. I'm not ready to Bardock's info and all those. I'm ready to go in and get my full detail details and thoughts. I cannot speak at all. That's how tired I am. Just me, after all this, I'm gonna lay down for like probably 10,000 days. <laughs> probably, um, <laughs> 1,000 days go could have come in. I'm just kidding. Of course, Bardock, he does physical types, key, super physical types, key 4, everything up 120, pretty good. Or villain types, or villain type physicals, key 3, um, everything up 90%. I meant to say key 4. Did I say key 4? I might say key 3. Again, we're reading so much units lately. Uh, for a super attack effect, though, of course, it is um, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn. Causes, causes mega cloth damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. There's um, 12. As you tell us, also be 18 key, um, grace defense for one turn, regular also damage to enemy and seals enemy super attack. Pretty good, I feel like that's like a bit effect a lot better. So, of course, though, for his passive, I, I gotta kind of back up a little bit though. For you guys, it's good for me, I tilt my screen a little bit though, so yeah. Attack defense plus 100%, it has not that hard to read like this though, of course. Attack defense plus 100%, plus additional attack plus 20% at the start of each turn, up to 59%, plus another additional attack, of course, up 40% when doing ultra super attack, which I think he did that before. Plus six key when facing, of course, one enemy. I think he did that before. He might have been. Again, the first part of the passive, they change up a little bit, then they just added something close for the easy A's. Or just in general, for easy A's, they always tend to do that, though, anyway. So you don't really need to stress yourself out or go over everything, of course, though. But yeah. Um, of course, plus, plus additional attack and defense, plus, no, uh, yeah, plus, plus four key. Additional defense plus 70% when facing two or more enemies. Plus additional attack, plus additional 12 key, and of course, attack 100% only once when performing the crit. Like there's a freezer um, category enemy. Not freezer soldier, but specifically just freezer. But that again makes sense and stuff like that, of course. Again, he's a little bit like his ADL transforming Super Saiyan counterpart. A little bit there. But he just basically doesn't have the dodge and stuff like that, of course. Again, he's gonna be a little bit more superior with the crits that are fighting, like, I think, a wicked bloodline enemy. Which, again, Battlefield is gonna be really good. Not this guy, though, because he's the freezer, unfortunately, is STR, and this guy will get probably one shot or demolished, though. But, um, are there any, like, int freezes? I think there's might be a couple in the game that you can. Probably demolish though. They ain't golden freezer that man. You could probably use them there. He'll probably be more effective there. If I can get into in golden freezer and build up for a little bit and stuff like that. I guess it'd be really good for Barak though again there. Um That's what I'm gonna Give me a second. <laughs> Pet. I don't know why. But yeah, um I feel like he's gonna be probably pretty good. I wanna say um next let me put my little bit. But yeah. Honestly though, I feel like he's gonna be pretty good and like I said, um so like, he's gonna be probably pretty good in the Inkle and Freeze event. He could be good in some Super Battle Roads against Wicked Bloodline. He's gonna be really good there. That's why he's probably gonna shine the most. Again, I gotta see a Super Battle Road. Again, extreme Super Battle Road. He might be really good there as well, though. Again, just so much like good situations you can put him in with a Wicked Bloodline enemy. That's kind of a little bit of the game, but not as much, though. But again, like, um, again, basically, any Freeza like unit is basically gonna be destroyed, though. And not really, if it was Wicked Bloodline, that'd be a lot better. Because, you know, he can, again, like, it's, I know it's not the Planet Plant version, you know, Super Saiyan. If it was Wicked Bloodline, it would be a little bit more extendable. But I guess at the same time, he, the same time he probably would have 
but almost like his ATL counterpart. So again, if they just did that, they probably would just he probably would have been dead on arrival pretty much because that product again has aged a little bit though. But um, yeah, he's gonna do a lot of damage again. He's gonna be just constantly getting a lot of additional attack and defense and stuff like that. It's gonna tank pretty well. I feel like in some events, if I find one enemy though, but if I find two or more enemies, it's gonna be pretty good though there. But if I find a freezer enemy though, only once, so you only can get that effect only once, only once, only once. But yeah, um, otherwise he's pretty solid though actually. Um, I think he's pretty good though. Again, they made him kind of, I feel like I didn't really, I mean before he was okay, but now he's, again, he was like, at a point he was unusable. No one uses Bardock for years. I haven't even gotten him at all yet. I haven't ready to go for LR in general for my game. But uh, I don't have him at all, but I didn't really care about getting him anyway. I think he was like one of the worst LRs. He wasn't like bad or aged well or whatever. He was pretty solid though. Then the AGL one came out again. The AGL Super, Super Saiyan one came out, demolished him, and he was just forgotten, like to, like the Sands of Time from Ocarina of Time or from the Zelda series. Yeah, literally, Sands of Time. He got thrown in the plant. Plants in the time though, Yuri. No way. But yeah. Otherwise, though, really good, really good, be good for Super Battle Road. Basically, um, like a ball and one if you're fighting Frieza and stuff like that. It only happened once though, so it is say once for Battle Road, but only once though, so. Just kind of take that with a grain of salt when you use that ability and stuff like that, of course. So if you want to save it for the end or whatever, go ahead. But if you want to just, you know, go ahead and try to use it, then there, yeah, I guess we got advantage out and stuff like that. Pretty good stuff, though. But yeah, pretty much you can go ahead and end the video there, though. But yeah, pretty good stuff for Bark, though. Again, he's not bad. He's actually pretty solid, though. I can see him being useful in some situations like against a freeze, freeze unit and stuff like that, of course. Does some knowledge banner again. Bark's not really like, you don't need to get him day one or whatever. You really don't just get the medals. Just get you pull him. Again, he's not like a must have outlaw. He's pretty good. But he's not like almost, oh my gosh, a must have LR like LR Broly. Because again, LR Broly's played way better than him. Um, even like in LR Gun was a little bit more better than him, probably maybe a little bit. But again, though, we're finding both my enemies can be really good because he did fight off against Freeze's last assault and stuff like that, of course. Makes perfect sense and stuff like that, of course, though. So yeah. See you guys later, though. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Great life. Oh, you know, make sure stay safe. Watch your hands. God bless all of you. If going out, you wear a mask and toilet paper. It's both! Look at the good balls and both of course, like, I think it's cool, awesome, bro, it's pretty solid. Again, he's going to be really good in useful situations and stuff like that, of course, though. But, um, yeah, though, I feel like it's going to be really good, though, again, like, situations. So, Battle Road, Extreme with Battle Road, all that stuff, though. Really good stuff for this guy, though. Really good, good stuff, though. So, yeah, see you guys there, though, you know? Peace out.